and welcome. I'm Peggy, and yes, we are in the kitchen, but we have a very special program, and we're not going to cook, but we're going to create something that is sheer delight, and I am so pleased to have Jean Lindsay here with me. Now, she is a master gardener, and one of the things Jean does is create fairy gardens. Now, they can have a theme of anything. And the thing that is, to me, so very special about this is not only can you do this, but if you happen to have grandchildren or maybe your own children, this is something you can bring them into and, and create something together. And I think that's more important than it's ever been. Jean, Hello. thank you for coming. Well, thank you for inviting me. A talented me. lady. I love to share this. And you do speak at churches and clubs and any place that... Anywhere I'm invited. Now, the Master Gardeners, I want to ask you, it, Clemson University right. is, makes this happen. Clemson University is responsible for the classes which now are taught by our extension agent who is paid by Clemson. All right. Okay. And in other parts of the United States? Yes. Er, There's the a Master Gardener, I, I, I think, a Master Gardener Association associated <laughs> okay. with each land-grant university. All right. So we're blessed to have this right here with Clemson and very, very talented people. Because you, you really put a lot into this. Well, and being on that Master Gardener... It, is uh, getting is through an the, getting, getting through the classes is uh, yeah you you really you happy have to when commit you get through yeah and yeah, then you commit tough. to giving of your time and right. talent right back to the community right that's, we are supposed to we are extensions of the extension agent because he can't do okay. everything no. so and he doesn't care about fairy gardens <laughs> anyway so I oh, get to do the fairy is, garden this is part. Such fun. Okay, so May how, I show where, you? where do you be, you begin with just a plain old you, inexpensive you pot. Get, you get a pot and get a pot and make sure that it has drainage. All right. Okay. okay. And then you want to, when you put your pot out in the, in the garden, you want to raise it so that it can drain. Put it up All on right. some rocks or some feet oh, okay. or something because the weight of it will cause it to sink down. And then the water will collect, and, and your fairies will drown. All right. Now, and inside of this, you have what? Just dirt. I, I have potting soil. Potting no, soil. not dirt. We oh. don't. We don't deal with dirt. In, <laughs> we deal me. with with soil in the master gardener. <gasps> okay. So you have potting yes, soil. We have potting soil in here, and I've pressed it down. Um, originally, I had moss in here. I really, really like moss as a ground cover. Yeah. But the squirrels. Just they dug like it up it too. over and over and over and over again, dug it up. So this is Selaginella. Okay. Um, it's a peacock club moss is its common and name. Right now, it isn't quite so green, but it will green well, up when spring comes, it right? It will, and, 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 and turn sort of iridescent, which is what this peacock's, why it's called peacock. Okay. Uh, but, you know, these little gardens are real gardens, and they don't look any better than your garden does so now outside th this right this you now. would, you, if you made one of these, you would leave it outside? Oh, I leave these outside, yes. Oh. I don't water them or anything after, after I've made them. I put them in their proper okay. place, and then I just let God take care of them. Okay. okay. Now, before you start decorating, uh -huh. this, this is what? This is a little arbor, and it has... Um, Oh, I can't think of its name. It's a Veronica. It's so pretty on it, and it, and it gets really fluffy when it, you know, it's, right now it's it's stressed just like okay. everything else okay. is, and it blooms. It has little blue flowers all over it. Now the thing about this, you you can do whatever you want. You can have sure. a theme. Sure. So whatever I like your to tell stories is. with mine. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So you want to start with? I this do. One? I want to start putting right. things in. Okay. All right. Um, what you, you want to keep things in scale because if, if things, you know, if you have a great big watering can and a little bitty girl, looks it funny. looks, it just yeah. doesn't look right. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to put these two things together because these are bigger the, than all the rest of my things. Okay. But I also like to tell stories. So I thought this was really cute. These okay. are raccoons with a little bunny rabbit looking over a log. I'm going to put these right here and they need something to look at other than that bunny rabbit. So here's a fairy, and she's sleeping on a mushroom, and she has no idea they're looking at her. But they can look at her, and then you have to wonder what they're going to do. 
I mean, are they going to get down off that log and go over there? Is she going to wake up and scream? You know, what happens next? And you have to decide that. I bet you've already decided. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know. It's up to you. We create this together. I, I'm, the, I'm the placer and, and you're the thinker about but, but it. But you have bears over there on that. I do. I've got other things. So let's take these out. And I think, well, particularly when the flowers are blooming, it's a really good place oh, for a party. Oh, yeah. And look at this. I've put, I've, I've um, glued a nail onto okay. the bottom so and that it so won't tip it, over. It won't. And here's right. their little china cup and so Yes, on. And, and a teapot. And I don't know, we can call that a cheesecake. And everything cake. in miniature. Yes. Okay. That looks like we could have a party in there. Okay. Now okay, you, now we need some. You need see. a bench and some well, chairs. Well, let's have something for people to sit on. We'll put hit this back here. And the, it's, we have a sunken place right there, so we really put need the chair. That. Okay. Oh, I can tell you want to put something in there. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> okay, no. wait a minute now. Wait, let's see who we're going to put in here. This little girl runs in. I'm going to let her run in like she's late to the party. And I like for her foot to be on the outside. She's so excited about this party. Okay. And, this and you've collected, girl, obviously collected oh, all yes. these little things over oh, the yes. years. This little girl is a really good sitter, so we can let her sit there. She's waiting for her cup of tea. Yes, she's waiting very patiently. And this little fairy is very well behaved. We don't want somebody to come to our party who's not well behaved. And then it's getting kind of crowded, so we can pretend that, you know, other people are coming later. Okay. And there are also some additional cups and saucers some other place. That's adorable. Okay. Now, so you start all over again. Then. And then I'm going to start all over again. I'm going to show you my bears that I got. For a now you, and a half. yeah, you, for instance, something like this, mm -hmm. you just kind of go around. You I can either look. spend a lot of money or not much money, right. depending upon what right. you want to do. Right. But you find these little miniature things. Yes. In, you just look. You find them in the dollar store. You find them in. Okay. I found these in Walmart. Suppose that you had a party, and bears came. Hmm. Okay. Well, they like they like cake. They as, like cake too. And you probably think bears wouldn't come to the party. So we have a little sign here, and the sign says, Believe. <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen if you set up a table in the woods. But you see what you can do. And I, I'm thinking of people with children mm -hmm. and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking what fun something like this can become when, mm -hmm. they, when they come to visit or mm -hmm. whatever. You can make it a learning experience. Sure. And... and I mean, the plants in here have to stay in good condition, you know, so you have to, you have to put things in here which will be in scale, be small, but will live where you want to place this particular garden. And this, you would put this outside and just leave it? I would put that outside in a partially shaded place All right. and leave it alone. Okay. And it will be very happy. I, there, I told that. you earlier there were ferns over here, tiny little ferns that are about this tall. They're really cute, but they're, you know, they're sleeping now. And, and so it left a bare place, and that looks pretty ugly. This so is, you put that out? This is called reindeer moss, and it's not really a moss, it's a lichen. Um, it came from any, any, any place that has floral supplies. Okay. But that's okay. just sort of a, you know, you just fill in with it and but cover up the soil. But it's kind of a soil. bit of, you know, it's a bit of magic. And the truth is, in my humble opinion, the world is troubled every time you turn on the news and all that. And once in a while, you need to pull away and have something like this to get away from the real world. I sort of like to have something like this all the time. <laughs> But And you've done this for quite a while now. I've done this for several years. Someone invited me to a talk um, delivered by a woman who had made a fairy garden. And I thought, ooh, that's what I've got to that do. And now like I just, I look and people, people see things and they think, oh, well, I'll take that to Jean Lindsay. And, and she'll use it. And she will, yes. She'll be really happy to get it. Okay. Your, your relative, Terry Gentry, found... Um, a fairy house, a beautiful fairy oh. house. And she called me and told me about it and she brought it to me and we had to find a container and 
she even located the container and it was a great big oh concrete container and I took the husband to get this container and <laughs> you put him to work too the, well the person who was selling it helped him put it in the car but then we couldn't get it out okay so this this is one. Now we've got some more this to do. This is one, and we have now, another one. All right. Now what, what we're going to do, Jean, okay. all right. is w w what do you want to do with this? Just put it over there. We so, can put it. You and we put it move, over there. Yeah. Well, and then we're going to. You don't want me to quick, go to the other side no, of you. I want you to stay right where you all are, right. where the light is really good. All right. Now we're going to take a quick break, yes, and we're going to come back, and we have more fairy gardens and more things to share with you. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> 